Okay. I was just going through... Such as um, what's his face doesn't need healing because we'll just give it to Alyssa, which means we can give him EP cuts. So beautiful. Um, this person is who I'm most struggling with because this already gives volcanic rain. So I really don't have anything to put for this. I guess I'll just go with that. Evasion zero, zero, you have 25. She moves so slow though. What, you know, information is really good. The only problem with it is it only works on the character you, you have selected. Um, if it was worked on any character, it'd be pretty good. So slow, Laura. So freaking slow. You're kind of slow, too. Oh, you probably don't have gear. Uh, 
start there with five speed. Let's just look for something that gives more speed. tough to find something with more speed than 15. Yeah. Alright, so we'll go with that. Laura. Do I have another one of those 15 speed ones? What is it called? The Abyss Shadow? I got it. long diversion. Yeah, we ready to go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't do that. kind of bugs me that all the, the text boxes, they just go wherever they want them to go. It's like, come on, man. You know, where am I going to put my camera? played it on my first playthrough, and it's not how you pronounce it, but it just, that, you know, when, when you look at the word, that's, that's what I read, time dollar. Uh, so, who did I decide on my party again? I know Alyssa was in there. Uh, oh, I actually looked at my um, my other when I beat the game, and at the very last fight, I had Reen, Elliot, Machias, and Laura. Uh, so we're just gonna get rid of all them. And we're gonna use Reen, Alyssa, Gaius. Um, I can talk to a party member, I think. Maybe it's a little bit later? My goodness, what is that sound? tickets all right uh, the 
first. What you call it? Let's see. There are. There is a hidden. I, I guess there's a hidden one for every, every single. Uh, every single opportunity. Because we had one right at the very beginning of the game. Celtic a little bit. Uh, not too much, though. In the sense of, like, I know all the... I know the general plot of it. I know what happens. And I believe I know where we go. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something important. That's Sarah right there. Wants to go do the least amount of work possible. And she's out. Talk to Elliot so we can play some Blade. And we can uh, play a little bit of this game. Um, you can play Blade with people on the train, uh, as mentioned there, and you will get uh, 50 link points uh, for playing. easy on me okay um the rules are you have to beat the numbered card okay then let's draw on, well looks like i'm up first on the board um and basically if you run out of cards you lose <clears throat> uh so sometimes it's good to start off big sometimes it's good to start off small the problem is they're special cards <clears throat> uh you cannot end a round with a special card in your hand, uh, or else you lose. You have to play them before you play your last numbered card. Uh, if you um, if you tie, the board gets wiped clean, 
The same score means we draw again, and right? We draw from the deck again. Well, looks like I'm up first. Um, so we'll kind of go through this slowly. Uh, we'll go ahead and use a mirror here that swaps the really? boards You're so that they now? get my cards and I get their cards. Bolt. Uh, the bolt, um, uh, knocks out the, the last card that I played. Uh, that one there that's currently on my board, that restores, uh, the card. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. You're playing that now? Jerk. Mirror! Really? You're playing that now? And got him. Uh, you get Must. the link points, I believe, regardless if you win or lose. So, uh, you don't have to go crazy or anything. I didn't want to talk to you, I wanted to play Blade with you. Oh, well. Play blade. Let's get started. All right, this is a pretty frustrating hand. Go on, draw a card. Looks like I'm going first. <clears throat> All right. That's not very nice. You know what? I'm going to do this. Bolt. All right. That was a poor decision. Mirror. What? You can't do that. Oh, now you've done it. Oh my gosh. I have to what? swap this. You can't do that. Looks like it's a tie. Oh, same score? We better draw again. After you then. <laughs> I won. Suck. I believe I'm Max with Laura, so I don't have to, uh, to play her. And that's Blade, in a nutshell. Um, there are... They had a few more cards in the second game. But that's basically the game in a nutshell. Play a higher... Higher... Numbered card than what's on the board. Uh, you win by having a, the highest total on the board. You have special cards to mess with the board. And there you go. It's, it's okay. Um, what was that other card game? Um, the card game in Tales of Viserio is uh, more enjoyable. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This transcontinental train is bound for Crossbell. The next stop is Keldic. Keldic. Passengers traveling to Bereahard. Please change trains at this stop. Almost there. All right, I, I really like this, uh, this little transition scene. Um, I think it looks really nice. It's a nice little, possibly a hidden loading screen, I have no idea, but it looks nice to me. I dig it. It is burning up right now. All right, and this 
This is Keldic, the market town. It's called the market town because it has this really, really big market, as you can see here. And that's basically the town. Wow, so this is Keldic. It seems like a really relaxing little town. Though there are a lot more people here than I expected. I imagine they've come for the Grand Market. Even merchants from other countries regularly come to see it. Sounds like this place is as popular with the tourists as the capital then, but for a whole different set of reasons. Keldic's also widely renowned for their local beer, which they make using rye. But you're all still miners, so I'm the only one here who gets to drink it. Are you trying to make us jealous? We don't really care, you know. Anyway, let me show you to the inn. It's, uh, right over there. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Reen gets to say that a lot. Let's go. this guy could he be the villain of the game we'll learn about him a little bit later um I don't want to give any spoilers about him the PC version of this game and they added a I guess a bunch of uh, lines of dialogue to the PC version and I was actually really tempted to wait and and play the PC version but I don't know I don't know I don't I wish I knew where the lines of dialogue were it would also be nice if they could have added the dialogue to the to this version but, you know, I mean, that's fine. Gotta, gotta put a little bit of incentive to buy it on the PC. other sides of the room so that they could section off everything. Still mad. And uh, field studies are basically off days, in a sense. Um, except instead of um, you know, walking around the campus and the town and the old schoolhouse. We are kind of, we have like outdoor dungeons uh, for the most part and other stuff. So, let's see what we got here. 
Uh, so for this one, we got a scary dinosaur that we need to kill on the east highway. No problem. Uh, this one, there's an orbment light that needs to be fixed. No problem. And this one... Need some medicine for the church guy. That's that. Uh, I don't think there's any like secret items. Uh, I don't think there's like secret items that you can pick up, so we'll just skip that part. So we're gonna go down here and talk to Sarah. It's the spot quite like a cold beer. She looks like she's having the time of her life. How many pints has she downed already? It's not even new. Oh, you kids are still here? I'll just be hanging back and enjoying myself. So go on ahead and get started. Don't mind me. We have questions for you, though. What's with these field study tasks? I'm glad they're not as difficult as I was expecting, but they're just so... Well, it makes sense you'd have some doubts. You only need to do the ones it says are required, though. Feel free to just ignore the rest if you want. I don't care. Up to you how much or how little you want to do. Hmm? S stop being so irresponsible and... Wait. These kinds of decisions are as much a part of our field study as the tasks themselves. Oh, what? B what do you mean? <laughs> you have two days. Trista isn't far from here, so you'll be returning to the Academy tomorrow evening. Until then, you can spend your time here, however the four of you see fit. Every decision rests on your shoulders. I won't be forcing you to do a thing. Except for the required tasks. Tell us, uh, okay, there we go. So basically, the field studies are all about learning about the environment that you're in and possibly problem solving, uh, you know, helping people out. And uh, we will be 100%ing. Uh, well, 100% asterisk. So, first order of business. First order of business, we need to walk back inside here and talk to Margo. Margot. I think her name is Marco. No, you're not. You're not Marco. Okay, 
Well, I don't know why, but she gives you a, a recipe for a sweet cookie. Uh, I'm guessing I just already have it. So that's why she is not giving it to me. Uh, this recipe, sweet cookie. That's what she gives you. Alrighty, so... We need to go to the east side. Uh, east side is this way. Talk to this guy about his quests. There's a lot of talking in this game, so we gotta get used to it. I was gonna give me a prompt and I was gonna have to choose yes or no and I was gonna accidentally choose yes can't be having that all right so we have started this quest I thought there was somebody in here that I needed to speak to but I guess not not yet This is one of our emotional clients. I need to talk to Samus Aran. Alright, so make sure you write down this number 466515. For this uh, this person near the market, uh, this guy sells newspapers, I believe. He does. Let's see. You are not over there. I'm guessing you're over here. See her. There she is.
Okay. Lizzie. Gibson. Baron Poe. Marco. You. Wow, check out all these stalls. All right, so we need one of those. We need to talk to one of these people. Barak. Dreams. Low. Often. I think you're the guy. Uh, we, wa we want to buy one of these. Um, anything that says part of a set means that uh, you can. Uh, by the the set of it. Let's see, I do not have these. So I'm buy these. These are important. Don't ask me why they're important. <clears throat> they're important. Oh my goodness! It is Smiggy. Smiggy coming back. What's going on, Smiggy? How you been? Where you been? How's uh? I I see you be playing Siege. How's Siege? So I guess that's it. Um, I want to go to the east side. Wait, isn't there one more quest? No, that was the uh, the watch cards. Uh, lots of change in good ways and such. I've been taking breaks from Rocket League and moving on to Siege. Just hit level 100 today. Nice, very nice. All these windmill. True. This scenery is surprisingly. Uh, like four weeks ago, thirty something. All right, Let's man. All right. Go. I don't remember. There. That's the power of the eight leaves. I uh, haven't streamed in a while and I go hardcore gaming every day. Now's our job chance. We can do this. My part two of the interview on Monday. Aw, oh, snaps. Let's see what you got. Oh, so these are what's her faces stuff. They're not, not very good. She's not. Uh, oh, no, do you mind me asking what uh, what kind of job? Is it uh, like retail or is it uh, uh, fast food or what have you? My turn. Right. We should keep going. That chain right now. Lord, that's what they're called. Mm -hmm. What did I 
and just get rid of Gimbu. Sears as a home appliances associate. Okay. I, I've never actually worked at Sears, so I can't uh, tell you how good or, or bad it will be. Um, I worked at Macy's uh, a while back. I worked at the dock, uh, which is the shipping and receiving area. Um, it, was a, it was a solid Let's job. Safe for now. Uh, it's a trick. I always press square when I want to attack. It bugs the crap out of me. My turn. All right. So these encounters are basically just going to be this. Second form. Damn. We'll cut our own path. Uh, yeah, I've uh, doing the, the steady grind. Um, it's been going so far so good. Uh, no complaints from me or anything like that. Um, I'm, I've reached 35 followers uh, a couple days ago. Um, working towards that 50, get a a new uh, what do they what do they call it? Uh, I I forget what they call it. But Twitch just announced something today. It's not partner, but it's something else. Need 50 followers for it. Three concurrent uh, dudes. This farmhouse is huge! <laughs> Look at the cows! So, gonna work towards that. Um, but overall, everything's been... been alright. Work's fine. Dreaming's fine. Yeah, I, I forget what they, they called it. Let me... Let's see if I can find out what it is here. Uh, Twitch affiliate. Uh, in a nutshell, you need, I think, three average viewers or something like that uh, for 30 days, uh, 50 followers. Uh, you have to stream like 5,000 minutes or something like that. I'm, well, I, I think 5,000 minutes or 500 minutes. I don't remember, but I think I'm well over that. Um, I hope. Uh, and I think, I think that's it more or less. Uh, I deserve more than 50. I uh, well, um, when I when I get to 50, I think I'll I'll feel like I deserve it. Uh, gotta gotta just keep on the grind. Yeah, man. I I think uh, a lot of people can actually become uh, the affiliate. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. Uh, this is a fishing spot. Fishing. Pretty sure this is a fishing spot. I, I thought it was a fishing spot. Oh no, it's a different, different area. Just here. Um, they. Uh, 
It's not like a like an email or an imply thing. Uh, they'll just send you the Transcontinental Railroad, huh? The information. Guess that'll take you out of the country. If you keep on heading east, you'd eventually reach Gorelia Fortress. Uh, they they send it uh, like on Twitch east? itself. Okay. Uh, do the amount of work you put in your stream a lot. You deserve a lot more uh, than to do. Uh, I just luckily stopped streaming randomly. I streamed a lot less and luckily got to 102. Oh, you got 102? Man, I haven't seen you stream in forever. Um, so I didn't I didn't know where, where you got to. But you're at 102 now? Awesome. All right, uh, these uh, these dangerous encounters, or uh, be careful. Uh, this one looks strong. What have you? Uh, you cannot ambush them or anything like that, so don't bother doing that. Burn to ash. My turn. Let's go. An opening. All right, that was a nasty crit. <laughs> you fought well, Ellie. Um, I, I don't know how to respond to that, Smiggy. Uh, I'll just say that, you know, I do my best and sooner or later, uh, I'll get, I'll get to the, uh, the point where I want to get to. Um, but for now, it's, uh, I guess it's just smooth sailing job I'm working at is, is pretty solid so uh, you know as long as I keep the same hours and whatnot um, should be uh, too big of a deal all right swap that just because he's already at um, I want to level up some of the rest of the master ports Try to get that out of the way. Huh. Is that a treasure uh, chest? Exactly, man. You deserve it more than me. I just got lucky and then gave up. Got to start again. Starting to miss it. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, I mean, uh, Rocket League seems like a really good game to, to stream. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that you know a lot of people are interested in in watching that one. So I don't, I don't think you got lucky. I think you just chose your game uh, correctly. Um, if I... Let me see. Did I... Did I... Man, why do I keep doing that? Alright, so I have to go this way. Um, I... I've been on the fence about Rocket League. Um, I play-tested some Rocket League when I was a QA tester, and it was a, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, I played with other QA testers. We were testing various things, and uh, I I enjoyed it 100%. I have no idea why I don't own it or why I don't play it. Uh, it's not like it's you know not my kind of game or something. It's just all right. Where where am I going? I got the monster. Uh, close to okay. Never mind. I'm I'm doing everything correctly. Getting lost there. All right. So we need to talk to this guy. Exactly. It's just. Uh, cause I'm a good at Rocket League player. Uh, my people come to watch me, that's all. Start up Rocket League Esports team, and hopefully that goes well. Oh, snaps! Didn't I just get those carrots?
could have sworn I just got those carrots. I guess not. Guess I gotta go to the west side. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff to do over here. Um, how's the uh, the siege going? Weren't you gonna start a team for that as well? the team but now I ended up getting better better than them and all these little kids and stuff were on it uh, but the team isn't close three of them play all the time but the others uh, just left out okay that makes sense uh, you've been uh, I think you've been playing siege like every day I see you on discord and every every time I get home from work you're you've been playing rocket league or not rocket league uh, siege uh, each time so I've been seeing you put in the work. This would be a really tranquil area, if not for the monsters. Yeah, let's be careful. Hmm. Can't fight this guy. We haven't fought him yet. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Here we go. Uh, doesn't look like we can hit everybody. Guys, man. It's my turn. Everything always misses. Them. My turn. Right. Hey. Right. You want to hit the guy? Let me know. My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. Is this a farmhouse? <clears throat> uh, I have a huge grind going on. I want to take that game competitively. Soon my friend from Xbox is coming to Siege on PC and he's like level 250 on Siege. Wow. Um, who's your favorite operator? on, uh, I guess, attack and defense. <clears throat> um, and have you, uh, do you, do you have all of them now? Do you have, uh, the newest ones too, uh, Jackal and Mira? Cause I, I really want to, I really want to play Mira, but, um, Hibana is another one that I want to get too. Buck, Twitch, Habano, you're still playing the Twitch. <laughs> still with mouse and keyboard, right? I hope so. Alright, so that is the second quest. Huh, I wonder where we are. Hmm. It says Lunaria Nature Park. So... 
I guess we'll do this one. Smoke Bandit Jaeger. Jaeger is super good. I think they nerfed his gun recently, though. Um, Bandit's really good, too. Alright. Happy to hear the keyboard and mouse is, is uh, paying dividends. I think attack. Let's see. Oh. Who's my favorite on attack? Oh, I like um, Thatcher. Thatcher is one of my favorites. So those guys don't want to let us inside the park. Yeah, that Thatcher is super good. Um, really surprised that uh, more pro teams don't run him more consistently. Um, his 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 guns are really good. So kind of crazy. Oh, okay. Here's the the light that's out. That I didn't Let's repair the light. I hope you remember that code. has become almost my main game now. Siege deserves all the love. Um, I'm I, I'm really happy that one, uh, Ubisoft um, launched the game in the way that they did and then I'm really happy that the game became successful and then I'm happy that Ubisoft decided that they would uh, support the game in a manner that, you know, is consumer friendly, I guess. Uh, so all of those things were a perfect combination. It's great. Oh, it's a treasure chest! Um, as a side note for this game, I've actually been a tiny bit tempted to uh, to restart from the beginning and not do New Game Plus, but I haven't done it with New Game Plus yet, because um, you know, I'm just kind of zooming past everything. Um, I'm still 100%ing, but uh, you know, nothing's going to be a challenge until the end of the game. But, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, we've done all the quests. That was actually really quick. <clears throat> so, first we'll turn in this. Uh, did I finish the new Zelda? I did. 
Um, it was one of the best games I've ever played. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, highly recommend Breath of the Wild to anybody and everybody. Uh, fantastic game. Um, after I played Zelda, I think I moved on to Legend of Dragoon? Pretty sure that's what I moved on to. So if you if you ever if you have a Wii U, or you're planning on getting a Wii U, um, or you're planning on uh, getting a Switch, you know, Breath of the Wild, check it out. Oh, uh, you saw me streaming Legend of Dragoon. That's my favorite game of all time. Uh, it's a fantastic RPG. I still don't regret my Wii U purchase. I definitely do not have as many games on it as I would like. Um, the reason I'm going back in this chapel, by the way, is because this guy has a hidden quest. Um, but I guess I have to turn in all the quests first before I can get it. Um, I don't have that many games on the Wii U. I have Smash 4, I have Breath of the Wild, I have Mario Kart 8. Um, and those are the only ones that come immediately to mind. Uh, I'm supposed to go to this place. No, not this place. Where am I supposed to go? So I have to go to the east road, and I have to go to the farmhouse over there to turn in this quest. Which I did not realize before. Uh, I have a good amount, but I don't play the Wii U anymore. I don't necessarily blame you. I mean, they're not even making any games with Wii U anymore, so. Um, but I, I play Smash 4 when I can, uh, usually in between uh, playthroughs. I uh, played a couple days this week, I think Monday and Tuesday. Trying to get back into Call of Duty, thanks to playing the zombies the past few days. I might stream that on Monday. I, I'm a big uh, COD Four fan. That was that was my favorite. It was actually the very first multiplayer shooter that I I ever played. Um, a friend of mine um, uh, got it, and he convinced me to to buy like years later when the Game of the Year edition came out. Um, played it. It was so much fun. Um, there's no other Call of Duty that I've played that compares to COD 4. And I, I played Modern Warfare 2, 3, Black Ops, and Black Ops 2. I think those are the ones that I've played. Sure, it's not 
can't just say like, oh wait, I learned something. Alright, so there's a fishing spot. And I don't need the fishing spot, but I'm going to Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Represent. Here we go. Fishing spot right here. Um, I guess we'll catch one so that it appears on the map. Two is legendary to me. Uh, it was a six scooper uh, or scoper in that game. Only lost a few one v ones. All right. Um, I guess it's not appearing on the map. Well, uh, here you go. Uh, farmhouse is right there. That's where the fishing spot is. Uh, for the uh, I guess this is the East Celtic Highway. I thought they were supposed to appear on the map. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, let me double check if I... Maybe I don't have Black Ops 2? I'm pretty sure I do, though. Let's see, Call of Duty... No, I don't have Black Ops 2. I have just Black Ops. Okay. Guess I misspoke. I stopped after Modern Warfare 3. Uh, well, I actually stopped after Modern Warfare 2. No, I stopped after Black Ops 1, because I think that... You know, I, I don't know. I stopped after either Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2. I don't remember which one came later. But, uh... Those... Those were the, uh, um, that's where things started to get pretty bad. You know, you're essentially paying for the same multiplayer. Uh, they got rid of dedicated servers on PC. You know, I mean, come on. You can't, you can't destroy the PC community like that. for two before Black Ops, okay. So then I, I stopped at, at Black Ops 1. Um, and Black Ops was, you know, it was pretty good, actually. Uh, that was basically Treyarch's, like, breakthrough title right there. That's where they really got their foot in the door to beat Infinity Ward. Unhappy, I'm happy, I'm Mastered uh, Prestige 3 accounts on that game. <laughs> Man, leveling up on those games were pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to have a mature discussion. Man, but the writing here is just saying what I'm thinking.
Uh, when am I going to end the stream today? Uh, probably in like 20 minutes or so. Um, probably going to end it... Well... Well, I got I got to find a, an opportune moment to end it. Uh, Story-wise, but... Um, probably around in 20 minutes or so. Um, some stuff I want to catch up on that I have neglected uh, this week. Um, we'll 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 see where the the story takes me. There's still a hidden quest that I need to do. to learn a little bit more about the uh, I'm waving my hands around trying to think uh, a little bit more about the field studies uh, all the field studies are chosen by people uh, inside the towns to have the students learn more about the towns so it's all one big game like some issues are befalling this town. And the market is suffering because of it. for a little while. Oh, so it looks like even more issues are going on. The guards are not intervening in the quarrels. What could that possibly mean for this? Let's go do the um, the secret quests. The hidden quest, as they're supposed to be called.
They mentioned the Emperor, but I don't actually know who the Emperor is. Come to think of it, I thought it was more of a king, like royal leadership and not an emperor sort of thing. Time is it where I live? It is 6.47 right now, p.m. on Friday. is in the market and I think he's over here Uh, you wish it was 647, you could tell because my room is lit up. Uh, it's actually not... It's actually pretty dark in here. I don't... Um, the... The webcam actually does like some light correction. It is not light in here whatsoever. Um, I don't know if I can... Uh, but it's, it's pretty dark in here, actually. Uh... I don't, I don't have, like, a, a device to measure the lux levels or anything like that. Or, or, or is it lumens? I think it's lux. Alright, so basically for this quest, uh, I believe we just have to play the role of a merchant. Belter idea. A boot. This guy has a, a mix between Australian and Irish accents. Oh, you know what? Here. Let me see if this will work, because then maybe it'll, no, that can do it. I mean, it, it's still, there's still sunlight outside, don't get me wrong, um, but uh, it's, it's dark in the room. Um, yeah. Uh, but the sun is over there. Uh, I, have a, I have a window right here, uh, then we have wall right here, and then doors over there. So I have like, um, what is that? Um, I have like, uh, I don't have I don't have blinds, so I have like, uh, I guess I'll just call them like card cardboard. Um, sheets or whatever and I just kind of use those to uh, section out the light um, typically I, I you know I actually like 
as much light coming into my room as possible. Uh, but for whatever reason, the webcam doesn't like uh, all the light shining against the white wall back there. I'll get a green screen someday. Um, I just don't know where I'm going to put the lights. I would have to have a light there and a light there behind my desk. One of these days I'll show my setup when my desk is actually clean. Um, and you can see the horrible cable management that I have. Man, this guy is still talking. Um, but I would need to have lights behind my desk. And there might be room for it, but they would have to be like really high up. And I live in California. Southern California, to be more exact. And it does not get very cool in Southern California. As a matter of fact, uh, it gets pretty freaking hot. Uh, it was really hot today. Uh, and I don't have air conditioning in my house. To make matters even worse, the wind blows in the direction... Like, the wind blows in this uh, direction, like, towards this wall. And my window's right here. So, I don't get the best um, air circulation, I guess, that I could possibly have, which is probably for the best because, you know, if the wind blew directly in here, you know, we'll have a, a terrible, you know, like a lot of dust flying and whatnot, and we don't want that. Alright, so we're a merchant. We gotta do merchant things. Let me see, I have the blinds down and everything. I hate light in my room because gaming with light on your monitor is awful. I agree. Um, I, there is, so I have, I have three monitors. Uh, here, here, and here. Um, my uh, OBS and chat is on this monitor. And then this monitor is the game, which also has the webcam on it. And then this monitor is just other stuff. Sometimes I have like a stream running um, when I'm streaming or, uh, or what have you. Um, or sometimes just nothing. But uh, I, I usually only get light on this monitor, which is the one with all the streaming stuff. And it's usually not that much. All right, so it's 10 mirror per, per t uh, tomato. How many will I sell five for? This seems pretty self-explanatory. You know, you would say, oh, it's 50. If you want five tomatoes, five times 10 is 50. Seems pretty self-explanatory. Except there is not a 50 on here. What is going on? I don't understand uh, this whatsoever. I wasn't paying attention to the what I was reading, but uh, the answer is 35. Um, I don't know why. I guess I guess you have to barter. I don't know why we're giving a discount though. Oh, okay, they're on sale. All right, so wine costs a thousand mira. How much will I sell it for? It's on sale, um, but it's not a fresh good. So I mean, you know what's what's fair here uh, I don't know uh, the answer is 900 I don't know why you know just whatever um, and then it gives you a second prompt you can sell for 800 or you can choose uh, something else and again Either you're just going to have to get lucky, or you're just going to have to know the right answers. Answer is 20% off some cheese. Uh, 
Uh, it was like 50 degrees today. Uh, thanks to my PC in my room, it was insanely warm. It's been raining all week, so that's garbage. I actually like the rain. Um, I, I'm fortunate enough that my window faces this side. This is probably the only, uh, one of the great things about my window being on this side is the rain does not blow into my room, so I can keep my window open while it's raining, and I get the fresh rain smell. Oh, I love that smell. Cabbages. 20 Mira per cabbage. Alright, so... Um... Again, I don't... I don't get it. If it's 20 Mira per cabbage... You know, I you know I didn't look at the what the discount was supposed to be. If it's twenty percent, that would be five. But this would be ten. That would be fifty percent off. This is the correct answer, by the way. Six for sixty. I hope it rains in SoCal. We need the rain. We've been in a, in a drought. We did have a couple weeks where it was just crazy rain and it was wonderful. Uh, but that's uh, it's kind of long gone. We're getting up to the summertime and it's going to get probably 115. And I'm not looking forward to it because, again, I don't have any air conditioning. So. And my room doesn't have the greatest air circulation, so it's going to be a freaking oven in here. But I will survive. I'll, maybe I'll get like a fan or something. Hey look, there's a typo! Right there! Right there! So there so there really is nay. Is that a typo? Is nay? Is there really is nay any advice for me to give yay? I'm pretty sure that's a typo. Fun fact, actually, I, I, I forgot about this, um, mostly because it wasn't me, but um, when I was a game tester, this game actually was a game that we got to test. We didn't get to test it for very long, unfortunately, um, and even worse, I was not one of the people that got to test it, uh, but because... I became interested in this game because it showed up um, as a game to be tested uh, at, at that job. So it was it was great. Um, got to see some people play it. I was like, I, I want this game, and uh, that's my that's my story. Okay, uh, so we need to go back to the inn. We have to rest. Alright, well. We are gonna do that on Monday. Uh, this is where I'm gonna be calling it for today. Uh, Monday, we will continue Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, we'll move on to Field Study Day 2. And um, we'll have a few other uh, quests to do. Um, and there's probably another hidden one too. 
Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll be back Monday, 5.30 PST with some more Trails of Cold Steel. Thanks for watching. Peace. Out.